there he made his home in a town called Nazareth. So, by my calculations, we're on the fifth day of Christmas. We're not even halfway through. So, take your time. Relax. The new year and whatever issues it may carry or bring are still an age away, if we let them be. We're given 12 days, and as hard as it is, we're invited, or if it makes it easier in our work, work, work culture, we are required to dwell in these 12 days, each individually and together as a whole. A stretch of time to embody this nativity once again. Born in us once again. And born in us for truth. Because God knows we need it. So, keep the tree, keep the cards, keep the tinsel, keep the pause, keep the focus, keep the truth, and let it become a foundation to carry us into the new year and all that flows from there. But if that is so, 12 days of Christmas, why on earth would we have this gospel passage to read within our Christmas days? Apart from the fact it's from within the infant months and years of Jesus' life. In the main, it seems otherworldly, with a series of angelic visitations in dreams, and behind that, almost lost and missed because of our distraction on Jesus' whereabouts, behind that, it's horrific. Briefly recorded, almost in passing, but horrific. Someone commented uh, within, I think, the last week, but to be honest, my understanding of the last few days is somewhat confused. It is apparently Sunday. But they commented, I think, within the last week, that the days are getting lighter. Metaphorically, that does not seem to be so. Indeed, we're tempted, I think, to see the reverse Darker and darker actions and events. Fewer and fewer bright exhibitions of hope. More reasons to fear. More people or nations to fear. Whenever we turn on the news, we expect little other than new reasons and things to be concerned of or to fear. This gospel narrative in its heart, those children, we could well... Imagine hearing now in our news from somewhere in the world. And surely there, precisely, is why we not only record this truth in the life of the world and in the presence of Christ, but why we do so right in the very heart and heights of Christmas. These are the truths that he came and abides to meet. These are the horrors that he gives us the foundation of grace to overcome. And not only when they occur, but giving us access to the wisdom and the courage that is in us to mean that these don't so often occur. The days are lightening. The calendar and the turn of the world make it so. 
the days are lightning because the birth of Christ and his and others' faithfulness make it so. And his renewal of hope and purpose and truth in us still make it so. Twelve days. I don't even have enough fingers and thumbs to exhibit them to you. More than I can hold in one pair of hands. Twelve days. So that we don't just immediately fall back into fear and despondency and bleakness and that oh-so-normal, same old, same old. Twelve days to transform us with a truth that has transformed our world for thousands of years and does so again in your heart, your mind, your life, your vision today. Twelve days in which to receive and indwell and enliven the presence of Christ born in us once more in the truth of the world as it truly is once more. The Christmas adverts have indeed suddenly vanished from our screens. I rather miss Edgar the John Lewis Dragon. I warmed to him. They may have gone. The world may be thinking that it's back to the same old, same old, that the sparkle, short-lived, has gone. But Christmas has barely begun. It's not even halfway grown. We know it to be so. We show it to be so by our being here, by our gathering and uniting and then sending one another out into the world that we live in and know. We give hope, not just to others, but to ourselves. That the truth of Christ is true and real and living and enlivened and just so. Doing nothing to deny the horrors and the truths that may be elsewhere in the world, but transforming those truths by the presence of Christ in us and for us and with us over and over again, layer upon layer, truth into truth. So that wherever we go, whatever we do and meet, whatever joys we may carry and whatever struggles may wrap themselves around our limbs and seek to contain our hearts, Within our hearts and in the strength of those limbs is the presence and the life of Christ himself, born in us once more, lived within us once more, taking his steps in the world once more, day upon day upon day, building up that blessing so that by the close of these twelve days, we too are built into Christmas and it into us. And from there we stand tall, we raise our head and we bless the world in all the days that flow in this coming year of our Lord. So very much and still happy Christmas. Amen.